Welcome back to the channel guys. So as you well know, I did a 1.8 swap on the Miata to get a little bit more torque, a little bit more horsepower out of it. And in recent past, I've done a wide band so I can monitor the air-fuel ratios. And I did a uh, fuel pressure regulator so I could actually dial it up or down. Now, although you can do the on-rail fuel pressure regulator from Aeromotive, if you have a 1.8, and you have the EGR and everything on there, it doesn't really fit. So, I'm gonna show you how I'm doing it with the 1.8 motor, although I don't have an EGR in this car, but just to give you an idea, I'm gonna do it on this car with a different style fuel pressure regulator so that you can do it on your 1.8 that has an EGR. Also, I kinda like the look of the fuel pressure regulator mount on the firewall, and this one's black, which I like a little bit more too, so, just to give you options. Here's the actual fuel pressure regulator we'll be using. Obviously this one, you can mount the, the gauge right on the fuel pressure regulator as well. I'm gonna be mounting it like so, so I can mount it on the firewall, have it below the hood. And uh, overall, it's small, compact, just like the other one was. Um, I'm gonna actually do all the lines in uh, and line type fittings and uh, use some nice hose and uh, we'll see how it turns out. Should turn out pretty good. So I went ahead and put rave nuts in the firewall just because it's going to be easier to mount this up. Uh, then I'm going to mount this and I'm going to start running my lines. So now we have our fitting onto the actual rail itself and we have our fuel pressure regulator. So now all we need to do is connect these two lines and then connect that line. So like many things on the Miata, we're going to be reusing some old Subaru bits. These are some uh, really old fuel lines that we used to have on, uh, on the Subaru. So now I'm going to take all these apart, go from there. Always a key part, getting some uh, lubricant on the inside of the fitting here. And just remember, these are kind of small, so you don't have to go crazy torquing them down. So there's our fuel rail to fuel regular line. Alright, so it's our fuel pressure to fuel rail line. Alright, so that's it. We have our fuel pressure regulator, our gauge, our fuel rail line connected. Uh, we have our return line connected here. So now as we gotta do is fire it up. We'll adjust the, the fuel pressure itself, the base pressure by removing the vacuum line, setting the base pressure to about 45 and you should see about 35 with vacuum attached. After that, we're just going to tune it, lean it out or richen it up based on what we see off of the AE and wideband. So this should net us a little bit more power up top where we are really seeing like a 10.8 to one air fuel ratio. We're gonna be shooting for more 12.0 to 12.7 just to lean it out a little bit. Uh, we were really struggling to pull, it felt like, at the top end. So uh, we're going to try this and see how it turns out. We might even be able to get up on a dyno at Yemi Sport and see what the actual difference is between with the fuel pressure and the air fuel ratio at that 10.6 at the high end versus like a 12.7, just to give you a dyno number 
an actual number attached to this. All right, have a good one, guys. This is the data from my AEM AQ1. Gonna use that to record all the parameters that I wanna record. I still have some more to add and get some more data coming this way here shortly. All right, so after we went and ran the car and now we're going to look at the data logs from our track data streets of Willow. As you can see here, my AFRs are still not the greatest. What about 11 to one? Um, so I still have a ways to go in leaning it out. I'm just kind of taking it slow, not trying to blow the engine up or do anything silly. Um, obviously you can see in the lower RPMs, you're kind of at that level there. Um, but I'm gonna tuning it more so for the high end, which is about right here. So I'm gonna be looking to get it at least at about 12.0 and uh, going from there. So still more to go and just use the data to your advantage and get it tuned out.